JJ and Mikey are stuck in a burning house. So we are building fire trucks to save them. But we must hurry. The building will collapse in 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, Louie, look at there. Mikey and JJ are trapped. No way. This is terrible. If we don't save them ASAP, we'll lose two of our best friends. Well, I don't want to lose Mikey and JJ. And look, Louie, the building's on fire. What can we do to stop this fire? Well, the only thing that I know is good against fire is water. And wait a second. I think I just got a really good idea. We should build a huge fire truck to shoot a ton of water at that building. Louie, why don't we just make an aquarium? Um, Pip, an aquarium is just a bunch of water in a single place. Whereas a fire truck can shoot water out of it. We need to build one right now. Oh, I'd love to shoot water. Pip, we only have 20 minutes minutes to build this fire truck until that building goes down. So how about this? Let's get building. Let's do it. All right. So to make this build go by very, very quickly, we should use this wand of symmetry in order to build a lot faster. Here, Pip, you can take one too. All right. If you didn't know what a wand of symmetry is, it means whatever block you place on one side will be reflected onto the other side, which means we can build both sides of our fire truck at the same time. That's so cool, Louie. Let's start building. All right, let's go ahead and get some black concrete. This will be for the wheels. Let's also get some white concrete too, as that is the color of the inside of the wheels too. Here we go. Let's go ahead and build build a wheel shape, and we need to make sure these wheels are huge. This fire truck needs to be able to be as big as that building to shoot the water up at Mikey and JJ and keep them safe. Come on, Pip, what are you doing? You're all the way over there just relaxing while Mikey and JJ are in danger. All right, Louie, let me work on this wheel real quick. Uh, oh, wait, why is dirt spawning in my face? What are you doing, Pip? I'm just making the wheel better. Wait a second. Wait, you're putting dirt on your side over there, which is making dirt appear in my face. Oh, Pip, we cannot afford to dilly-dally. If we make this out of dirt, we'll never be able to save them. Oh, surely a wheel of dirt will be fine, Louie. No, Pip, trust me. A wheel of dirt would not be strong enough to stop that fire. We need to make sure we build, well, a lot more wheels and then a fire truck to go with it. Oh, how many wheels do we need? Well, we need four wheels. As you know, on any car or any fire truck, they all have a ton of wheels on them. So let's build a shape kind of like this inside of the wheel. This is where it's attached to the fire truck. And we can get rid of the middle here and add some red concrete just like this to connect it to the truck. This wheel is looking pretty cool, but we need to build two more. As you know, fire trucks don't only have four wheels. They have six because they are huge and need to be able to drive very fast. Why can't we make our fire truck have two wheels like a motorcycle? Because, Pip, that would not work. If you tried to put the shape of a fire truck on top of two wheels, it would just fall over, which we really don't want. Mikey and JJ would probably get super angry at us if we don't try to save them with a proper fire truck. And look at this, Pip. We just built another pair of wheels. And oh, wait a second. Why are there some over there? Oh, well, it doesn't matter, Pip. We have to get rid of these blocks. This wheel cannot be over there near the burning building or else our fire truck might actually set on fire. Come on, let's build another wheel very, very close to this next one right here. Come on, Pip. We don't have time to spare. What are you doing? Oh, I was just fixing my wand of symmetry. That's all, Louie. All right. Well, this wheel is looking a little bit strange. Are you sure we're building this right? Yeah, Louie. I'm just trying to copy you. Um, Pip, you're copying me wrong, I think. What is going on? And wait, that's the right wheel shape. Okay, Pip, let's go ahead and build the shape of this wheel one more time. Let's just do the middles like this and then put the red in. And whoa, look, we have built a ton of wheels for this fire truck. This will do just fine. Now it's time to build the walls of this thing. Come on, Pip, help me out. So I think the best way we can do this is by going around the fire truck's wheels just like it would in real life. Let's do this kind of shape. It has to go around the wheel and make it kind of look like 
like there's a space in the middle. Just like that! Now we can go ahead and make the shape of the fire truck. How about you get started on the frame, Pip? And I'll get started on the front. Well, that sounds good. All right, here we go. So as you guys know, a fire truck has a big bumper on the front. So we have to build that. I'm going to use this dark gray concrete in order to make the shape of it. So let's go ahead and do a big bumper on the front of this thing. Let's just do this kind of shape. And let's also make it wrap around the side of our fire truck. Just so that if it bumps into anything on the side, it won't won't get scratched, and the paint won't melt off if we drive into that burning building. Mikey doesn't belong in there. He belongs in water. I know, right? Mikey is extremely used to being in the water. Not in the fire. And JJ definitely would not want to be in a burning building because I wouldn't either. Yeah. Louis, we don't have time to waste. We have to keep building quick. Let me just help you build up the frame of this fire truck. And at the same time, we also so need to add the lights onto this thing. This way, I'll be able to see even in the dark. So let's do some really big orange headlights like this. And then let's add some yellow stained glass on the inside. This is what will hold the bulb on the inside of it. I need to make sure that the bulbs are very bright as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some glowstone. And not just some regular glowstone, but some of this polished glowstone. As you can see, it's so much brighter. Let's just put it on the inside of these lights like this. And then wrap around them with this orange stained glass. Beautiful. What do you think of these headlights, Pip? Will these be able to see in the dark? Oh, they're so bright, Louie. Oh, I hope we don't blind Mikey and JJ. <laughs> don't you worry, Pip. I think they would rather be blind than dead. Oh, oh, well, I guess that's a good point. Uh, let's keep building. All right, Pip. We are about to build a massive grill shape on the front. This is where when the fire truck drives, it will cool down the engine. So let's build something that looks like a vent. How about this? I'll put some black concrete behind it to make it look like there's an empty space behind. Wait, what are we? We're building a grill? Yeah, Pip, we are building a grill. As you know, that is what lets the air through when the truck is driving. Oh, okay, Louie. I love barbecues. Wait, no, Pip. Don't actually put a grill down. This is just car language. As you know, Oh, this is what is usually called a grill on a car. Not an actual grill. We are not sizzling steaks on the front of that thing, Pip. Oh, I was looking forward to doing that. Well, we are not going to do that, Pip. We are going to build a nice looking shape just like this. And I think I'll make the grill just one block higher so that I can complete the shape of it just like this. Let's also go around the back and add some more black concrete to give the illusion that there's space behind. Whoa, look at that. All right, Pip, we've now built the grill, but it's now actually time to go ahead and build up this entire fire truck. It's uh, going to take a while. Look at how much space we have. Don't worry, Louie, I've got a great idea. How about you use some of those fancy magic world edit commands? Wait, that's actually a good point, Pip. Let's do that. Wait, let me just build up these shapes just like this. This is what everything will be on top of on the fire truck. Now, just like you said, I can use my wooden axe and use world edit. You guys didn't know what world edit is. It basically just helps me build a lot faster with commands. As you can see, if I type this command in, it'll let me paste in a ton of blocks. So I can just keep doing that over and over again to fill up all of the space in this fire truck. Just like this. Look how much faster we built all of that, Pip. It was insanely quick. We will save Mikey and JJ any minute now. Yeah, they will definitely not burn in the building. We will definitely go and save them. Let me just fill in a few more gaps like this. And now I can go ahead and add the next wall to this fire truck. Let's go all the way to the other side and paste in the wall. Whoa! We have a wall on our fire truck and we have the front built as well. All right, Louie, let me just add some windows to the wheels. Wait, Pip, why are you adding windows on the wheels of our fire truck? Didn't you said we need windows? Um, well, yes, we need windows, but why on the wheels? Just so we can see how fast we're going. Pip, 
Do you know that this wheel will be spinning very, very fast? There is no way we could look out of those windows. Oh, sure we can, Louie. It'll be like a roller coaster. Listen, Pip. I guess you could keep the glass there. But when we start driving, the wheel may fall apart. And would you want that? Oh, of course, Louie. It'll just be a little bumpy. Yeah, bumpy when this entire wheel smashes into pieces and we get a flat tire. Oh, Pip. I don't get you sometimes. Well, if it's going to be pieces, can it at least be chocolate pieces so it's tasty? Pip, what are you talking about? I don't get you sometimes. I really don't. Oh, but what are you building right now, Louie? Oh, well, I'm just building a bumper that goes around this entire fire truck. After all, we need to make sure that if any dirt or debris gets in through the side, it does not pop our tires or scratch the paintwork. Well, can I help, Louie? Um, I mean, only if you don't mess it up, Pip. Uh, can you promise you won't mess up this fire truck? I promise not to mess it up, Louie. I promise to make it way better. All right, go ahead, Pip. I'll be watching from the sidelines. All right, Louie, let me just get a really reinforced block. Wait, what are you doing? That's reinforced dirt. Ew. Well, does it matter that it's dirt? It's still reinforced, so it might be stronger than this. Pip, it definitely matters if it's reinforced or not, but it also matters if it's dirt or not. Yeah. Look, our fire truck looks like it's been driving for years. It has a dirt buildup on the bumper. Well, that just means that we're really good firemen. Um, I wouldn't say that. Firemen use water all the time, which means they should be clean. Right, guys? Comment down below if you think firemen are a lot cleaner than the average person. Oh, if I was a fireman, I would take my fire truck to the car wash. Oh, why? You could just spray your own fire truck with all of the water inside. But wait a second. We don't have any water inside of our fire truck. Well, let's finish off the shell and then start adding water. All right, I think I'll go ahead and add a door into this thing. After all, this fire truck needs a door on it. Let me go ahead and make a nice little door shape. We do need to make this wall a lot higher too, Pip. That is not very good. Oh yeah, you need to make it really tall because I'm going to drive the fire truck. Wait, what, Pip? Are you saying you're tall? Yep, Louie, and I call shotgun. Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but you are not very tall. And how are you calling shotgun on a build you're not helping me with? Come on, help! All right, come on, Pip. Let's go ahead and build up these doors. I'm using this red concrete just to build up a shape like this. Can you add a window onto this thing? Oh, sure, Louie. Let me just add some glass. All right, that is looking very good. And wait, Pip, you're supposed to make the glass flat. Why are you building like that. Oh, just so our fire truck is more secure. What? It looks like there's smoke coming off of it. Why are you putting fire on our fire truck? Well, why not? Because it's not supposed to be a truck on fire. Ooh. It's supposed to be a truck that puts out fire. Oh, then why isn't it called a water truck? Well, you know, that's something that I don't know either, Pip. Um, people are just very weird. Well, if it's called a fire truck, shouldn't it be set on fire? No, Pip, you should not set this fire truck on fire. If you do, we will never be able to save Mikey and JJ. And then we will be in big trouble. Oh, yeah, Louie, I don't want JJ or Mikey to be mad at us or dead or both. Yeah, I know. That's why we have to build this fire truck as fast as possible. This thing is coming along very well. Pip, how about you help me by building up the front while I build up these walls. I got you, Louie. All right, we've got a nice little wall going on here, and this fire truck is looking awesome. But now it's time to add in the front windows. This is where the firemen will be able to look out and see all of the fires. Let me just place some glass right here and build it up like a wall. This thing is looking awesome. Um, Pip, while I'm at it, do you think you can go ahead and use some world edit to fill in the floor? in there so we could build some awesome things? Of course I can, Louie. I've been waiting this for this moment forever. All right, go ahead. Fill in this entire fire truck with a red floor 
or a yellow one if you really like. Oh, yellow is way better. All right, while you're doing that, I will build up the glass just like this. All right, so Louie wants me to set the floor. So let's go ahead and set the floor. So we need to build the floor right here. So let's just fly all the way over there. And we're going to make this floor out of yellow concrete because red concrete is ugly. Um, Pip, I heard that. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, uh, yes, I did. Uh, you know what? I don't care. Now let's do the command slash slash set yellow concrete and now hit enter and now we have our floor um pip uh, are you done yet wait whoa look at that we have a huge yellow floor inside of this thing how about while i build up the details of this fire truck you go ahead and build some rooms inside of this thing just make some walls that we can add some rooms inside of like the driver's seat and maybe even a hospital in the back to treat jj and mikey Oh, all right, Louie. Time to work on these rooms. Let me just make a super tall red concrete wall. These rooms are going to be massive. I hope Mikey and JJ love our fire truck. Pip, are you building those rooms right now? They're actually looking pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. You've got one big doorway in the middle. Well, Louie, you're complimenting me. And all I've done is put down two red walls. Yeah, because you're building out of red. You don't normally do that. Uh, are you the real Pip? Oh, oh, you're right, Louie. Let's replace this with yellow. Wait, no, don't replace it with yellow. Maybe we can compromise. Put some orange. No, Louie, I just made the end of the walls yellow, so the tips are yellow. Oh, fine. Whatever. I'm actually building up the roof for the fire truck right now. As you can see, this thing is coming along awesomely. I just need to connect it to the main truck truck like this this will be the main area where the driver can sit and we can enter the fire truck and then at the back we have to add a massive hose so we can shoot some water at this thing and i think i'm going to make the fire truck just a little bit shorter just about here this is where all of the water will be stored inside of this thing so let's build it all the way to the back like this. And now we actually have to add the water on the inside. So what I'm going to do is just make up the area over here. This area on the side should be where all of the water can get connected to the hose and shot at the fire. So I'm going to go ahead and build this up to look awesome and set this to light gray concrete. Boom. Just like that. Now I'll get this red right here and I'll get rid of it. Boom. And now here I have to go ahead and split these off into three pieces. So I'll do one right here on the wheel, and I'll make it go three blocks across. As you can see, I'll set this to red concrete now, and boom! That looks pretty cool. But now we have to split it off again, and I'll split it around about halfway through the wheel. So I'll do it to here. Boom! Look at this, guys. We now have the area where all of the water can be taken from the back of the fire truck. Let me go ahead and just add some extra details. So what I'm going to do is add red concrete across this end. And then I'm going to add a really cool yellow stripe going across. So let me do this and... Boom! We have a yellow stripe going across our fire truck. This is so cool. All I need to do now is just add a roof onto this thing. And then we can get started on the rooms on the inside. Pip usually loves this part. And boom! Look at this. We have all the details of our fire truck almost complete. I just need to build up this last wall. And boom, we have the big water tank at the back and all of the rooms inside. I think I'll add a roof and get started on the hose. Pip, do you want to help me with this? Yeah, Louie. Let me just finish up this wall. All these rooms are going to be so cool. And now the outline of the rooms are officially done, Louie. All right, good job, Pip. Let me see the back of this fire truck. As you can see, the back is wide open so that we can get in and out and also get Mikey and JJ in too. Oh yeah, Louie. We'll probably have to use a ladder to get JJ and Mikey down from there. Wait, that's a good point. How about this? Let's go around the back of this fire truck over here and let's go ahead and add a ladder going up the back 
this is where we can actually enter our fire truck from. So here we go. I'll add a bunch of ladders going up the back right here. That's where we can climb up. But that actually makes me think, Pip. Real fire trucks have these crazy big ladders on the side. So how about we build one of those? Yeah, Louie, we need to make the biggest ladder ever. All right, let me make one of these pillars on the side a little bit thicker. This is where we will build the ladder onto it. What color do you want the ladder to be, Pip? Well, I think it should be orange. Orange? I thought you were going to say yellow, but let's go ahead and do that. Let's build up a ladder shape. Do you want to help me, Pip? Yeah, Louie. I think it should be orange because orange is the color of fire. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Since this is a fire truck, we want it to be fire themed. All right, you build one side of the ladders up and I'll build the other. Here we go. So let's build it going all the way up to the roof and let's have it slightly come over like this. This is so that the ladder looks a little little bit better. And look, the ladder is also built on the other side. Maybe I should just fill in the parts you missed here, Pip. Let me just build all the way up and boom. Awesome. Well, Louis, this isn't really a ladder. These are just poles going up the side of the fire truck. Uh, wait, you make a good point there, Pip. How about this? Let's go ahead and add the actual ladders that they can climb up. Just like that. Let's make sure to space them out two blocks at a time. So just like this, Pip. Just break the one underneath and space them out just like that. Perfect. I can see you're getting the hang of it already. Yeah, Louie. I love making letters. Yeah, me too. And I love building with you sometimes. It's very, very fun. Oh, yeah, Louie. When we build together, we build such amazing things. Just look at our fire truck. Yeah, this fire truck is amazing. Amazing. I especially love the front. This is so awesome looking. But we are missing one thing that turns this from a regular truck to a really cool fire truck, Pip. Do you know what that is? A hose? Yes, a hose and uh, something else that goes right about there. I don't know. Where are you looking, Louie? Uh, do we put a donut right there? No, I'm looking directly on top of the driver's side of the fire truck. Guys, I don't know what Louie's talking about. About. If you guys know what Louie's talking about, comment down below. Come on, guys. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the siren on the top of the fire truck. Oh, right. I forgot fire trucks had sirens. Yeah, I know you did, Pip. But don't worry. We can always just build one like this. I think... I think that's about right. And I have the redstone skills to make this siren work, Pip. So watch this. I'm going to get some redstone lamps just like this right here. And I'm going to build them going up the side like that. This is the kind of shape we are looking for. And we are going to build them around like this too. Wait, but how is this supposed to work as a siren? Well, let me show you, Pip. If I take these observers right here, they release a redstone signal when a block is placed here. So let me show you. If I place an observer facing here and a redstone lamp, if I place a block here, go to the other side, Pip. Watch what happens. I'll place it here, and that <gasps> one will activate. Yo, how does this work? Oh, you're such a genius. Yep, it works because I am a redstone genius. And what I'm going to do is give myself a debug stick. And this allows me to turn around the observers like this, facing at me with their little angry face. Faces. What's the point in doing that, Louie? Well, let me show you. When they're facing at me, what it basically means is that they are waiting for something to happen right in front of them. <gasps> so say a block was placed, it'll activate those lamps. So all I have to do is just make observers that go around like this. Wait, so every time anything happens in front of them, they turn on? Yep. So if I take a poop in front of it, does it turn the lights on? Yes, it does, Pip. I knew poop was electricity. No, poop is not electricity. I can't believe you even think like that, Pip. But watch this. If I place these trap doors going the wrong way around like this, when I place one right here, <gasps> it makes the siren work. Look. Wee-woo, wee-woo, wee-woo. That's so cool. 
yeah, the only issue is if you get too close, it is a very, very loud siren. And now all we have to do, Pip, is just build a little enclosure around it just to keep the noise inside. Sirens are usually very noisy. When a fire truck drives past me on the street, I always have to put my hands in my ears. But there we go. We have a siren and it's currently on because there is an emergency. But wait a second, Pip, look. As you can see, this fire is raging through this building. And now there's a ton of holes. JJ and Mikey are really looking at us for help. How did Mikey and JJ even get up here? Well, Pip, you were the one who told them there were diamonds at the top of this building. Well, I thought there were. The, the strange man on the corner told me there were. Strange man on the corner? Oh, no. What was his name? His name was like, uh, Pip Man. He was wearing some dark robe. What? Pip Man? That's a very, very weird name to call somebody. Yeah, I thought he was trustworthy because we shared the same name. Well, I guess so. You know, if I met Pip Man on the streets, I probably would think it's you. But Pip, we don't have long. That building's coming down. You know what? I've got an idea. Our fire truck is not very useful right now unless we have a hose. So let's go ahead and build one. This is going to hold so much water. Yep. Let's use the Wand of Symmetry as well in order to make this thing a lot faster. Let me just place the Wand of Symmetry right in the middle and let's get this hose built. So come on, Pip. Let's build the shape of this hose. Let's go ahead and make it square like this and build it up into the sky. How much water do you think a real life fire truck shoots, Pip? Probably at least five. What? Five what? Water. Five water? What are you talking about five? Five water, Pip. We are talking in liters or maybe even gallons of water. Oh, then I think five and a half. Five and a half what? Gallons? Liters? Milliliters? Mini gallons? <laughs> Yeah. What, Pip? Do you think this thing is gonna shoot, like, five cups of water? We're not baking, you know. Well, yeah, I think it should hold at least five cups. Okay, five cups it is, Pip. Let's just add one tiny little tablespoon of water. Oh, well, Louis, let's make this hose even bigger so that the cup of water will drip out at the end. Wait, Pip, we don't want the cup of water to be dripping out. We want it to be shooting out. After all, we need to shoot water at this burning building, you know. I don't want to shoot Mikey and JJ. They're going to die. They won't die. Water cannot hurt you if it's moving too fast. Well, once when I was younger, my dad shot me with a pressure washer and it hurt a lot. Wait, what? Your dad shot you with a pressure Pressure washer? You know what? I'm kind of glad he died in a volcano accident. Oh no, Louis. He died fighting the volcano with a pressure washer. Wait, what? Was your dad a firefighter? Well, not a very good one. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought so. If he died inside of the volcano trying to put out the lava, then I guess he kind of deserved that. Louis. I can't believe you told me that my dad deserved to die in that lava volcano. Whoa, 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 Pip. I didn't mean to say that. But wouldn't that sound cool? I mean, after all, you know, Batman, he doesn't have any parents and he's really cool. Maybe you are Pip Man. You just don't recognize it. Oh, I wish I was as cool as Pip Man and as handsome as him. Um, wait, what? I, nothing. Well, I was just saying Batman has no parents and he's really cool. So maybe you'll be really cool without any parents too. Let's stop talking about that. Let's look at this huge hose we added to this fire truck. It's awesome. It's enormous. But you know what I think I'm going to do, Pip? I'm going to make this hose completely functional. So let me show you how I'm about to make this thing functional. Here we go. I'm going to need this gear shift like this, this motor, and I am going to need something called a sticky mechanical piston. I'll also use some of these extension poles too. And watch this, Pip. If I put a mechanical piston at the end over here and add a ton of extension poles going all the way back, we can make an absolutely insane water dispenser. Let me show you how it'll work though. If I put a gear shift here and a creative motor, 
I should be able to make this thing work. Watch this, though. I'm gonna put this motor to max speed. And now, if I get a lever, watch and learn, Pip. Boom! It shoots all the way out, and hopefully it can reach. Come on. No! It can barely reach the building. It's so close. You know what, Pip? I'm going to make this longer. The longer, the better. So let's add a ton more of these extension poles to the back. We need to make this thing able to drench this building in water. Here we go. Let's try again. And yeah, that should definitely reach. Oh, we're going to save Mikey and JJ. But we're going to save them right after we set up this part right here to be able to actually pour water on that building. So let's just grab a dispenser very, very fast like this. But now, Pip, watch this. As you can see, we have this dispenser and I'm going to fill it absolutely full with water like this. Now, if we send this dispenser all the way over here, it should put some water on the building and boom. But now we have this device made and we can shoot a bunch of water on that building. This should be a great hose to use. But just to make it look like it has some water in Side, I'm going to get some blue stained glass and just go around it like this. That should make it look a little bit nicer. Good work, Louie. Let's start building the inside of the fire truck now. <laughs> yep, sounds good. So what do we want to build in here, Pip? We have a lot of space. I think we need to add a hospital because I think Mikey and JJ might be very hurt right now. And let's go ahead and put a little green cross on it like that to show that it's... It is a place where you can go and get healed. But wait, what else do we put in hospitals? Wait, I've got an idea. We can have a patient room. So let's go ahead and have a big window on the side just to see if they're okay. Oh, we should add an arcade to the hospital. What an arcade? What kind of hospital has an arcade inside? Well, hospitals are kind of scary, but an arcade makes it fun. All right, you make a good point there, Pip. How about this? Let's have a patient room here. Let's have a desk here where you can talk to the nurses. And then let's have a patient room here and an arcade room at the back. Let's just split them both off like this. And there we go. We have a large room here where we can have some arcade games. And we have a small room at the front here where the patients can be. All right, Louie. I'll start working on the arcade. Sounds good, Pip. I'll just work on the window right here. Let's just get a huge TV. Put that right here. It's not an arcade without some Nintendo Switches so we can play Super Duck Bros. Super Duck Bros? What is a Super Duck Bro? Oh, it's just my favorite game, Louie. We should play it after we're done making this fire truck. Yeah, that's a good point. But if JJ and Mikey die, don't expect me to be playing video games with you after. We need to go to their funerals. Oh, can I bring the Nintendo Switch to their funeral? No, you can't bring the Nintendo Switch to that. Oh my gosh, guys, Pip is so disrespectful. <laughs> What's disrespectful about enjoying a funeral, Louie? Everything! You know what, Pip? We are not going to attend a funeral because we are going to save Mikey and JJ. Isn't that right? Oh yeah, you're right, Louie. You know what? I should add a few more arcade games for when they get here. All right, sounds like a good idea. While you do that, I will add some windows right here and then add some patient rooms. This is so that if Mikey and JJ are hurt, we can bring them here. Let me go ahead and add a red and a green bed. We can put JJ in this one and Mikey in this one. And then we can attach them up to some machines. And this screen will be able to check their heart rates and all other cool things that the doctors would need to know. Let me also go ahead ahead and add some drawers just like this. After all, JJ and Mikey are going to need places to put their belongings when they are lying in these beds. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and put a healing station. After all, they are going to need to be healed. So I'll put one right here and one right here. I'll fill them up with healing potions and then I will make the redstone to make it so they work. So let me get some of these things called redstone links. I'll place one on the top here and one right here and then I'll activate them both separately. Now I need to set them to receiving mode. And as you can see, this little white circle means that it's receiving a signal. All I have to do now is connect these machines up. So I'll put one right here. And then on the underside, I'll place this one right here. 
Now, if I put a pressure plate down and stand on top of it, they should activate the separate healing stations. Like that! Whoa! This is a very good hospital room. I hope Mikey and JJ are going to like it. This arcade room is looking so good! I put up a bunch of arcade posters like Scooby-Doo, Karate Ninjas, and even Spider-Man! Now, I think I'm missing my favorite arcade game, Chess! So let's just put some chess board down on the ground in case Mikey and JJ want to play chess. Oh, Pip, are you done with your arcade yet? I want to show you something really cool I'm working on. Yeah, Louis, uh, what are you making? Well, if you look over here, I've added a big, long table and a wall going across the top. Can you tell what this is yet? It's red and yellow, so that makes me want to say McDonald's. Oh, yes. You're right, Pip. Look at this. We can add the golden arches onto the top of this thing. And we now have a McDonald's. So there we go. This McDonald's is ready and open for business. But we do need a kitchen on the inside. After all, when Mikey and JJ get out of that burning building, they are really going to be hungry. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to feed them seed burgers. Seed burgers? That's sounds very, very... Nutritious. Um, no, quite the opposite. That sounds very, very much uh, sickly. <laughs> oh, well, sometimes I do throw up when I eat them, but that's just a side effect. Wait, what do you mean a side effect? You know what, Pip? Y you confuse me sometimes. I don't know how you go through life with that little smile on your face, but good for you. Oh, well, Louie. I get through life with a smile on my face because I eat McDonald's! Well, that does make a good point. Y you know what? How about this, Pip? Let's build the kitchen on the inside of our McDonald's now! All right. What should we add? Well, first of all, we need to split up these two sections. We need a kitchen in the back, and we need an area in the front where I can take orders. All right, Louie. How about I work on the cash registers up here, and you work in the kitchen in the back. All right. Sounds like a good idea. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a window right here so we can see each other while we're building. Let me just put some glass on the inside so we can look through at each other. All right. Time to work on the cash registers. So let's go ahead to my creative inventory and get some stairs. These are going to be our cash registers. And let's go ahead and put some signs to put on the side of our registers. So let's just put three registers up here and put some signs on the side. Let me prank Louie a little bit and call him a loser. Louie loser. <laughs> Hope he doesn't see that. And now we need to just put some signs on the rest of the cash registers. These cash registers look so good. I wonder what Louie's working on. All right, guys. So I have all of the blocks in my inventory right now. I have a bunch of kitchen tiles and loads of different blocks. As you can see, I have these cool kitchen sinks and a bunch of food. And what I'm going to do is make this kitchen look like a real McDonald's kitchen. So I'm going to add a big kitchen counter to this thing just like this. Now, all I have to do is add a kitchen sink so that everybody can wash their hands. Do you guys wash your hands? It's very important, you know, to keep the germs away. But wait a second. How am I going to be able to see what I'm cooking if I can't even see in the kitchen at at all. What? You know what? I have a good idea. I'll put a strip across the top of this kitchen and then I'll add some kitchen lamps facing down. This way all of my employees will be able to see when they're cooking. All that's left is to add some food inside of this place. So I'm going to put some hamburgers going up the walls like this. This looks so cool. And I'll also add a really cool sandwich in the middle. Now I need some ovens to even be able to cook these things. So let's get some white ovens and let's get some of these ovens too. They look a little bit different. Look at that. They even have stoves on the top. But now I also need an area to cook the fries. So I'll have these little deep fryers right here. Then I'll just put some hamburgers on the side just like this. And as you can see, the deep fryers hold these hamburgers inside. And the tables also have them inside too. Whoa, this kitchen's awesome. All right, Pip, I'm finished with my my kitchen and whoa look at what you built yeah Louis, i 
put item frames with the food that we sell inside of the item frames. Whoa, wait a second. This looks like a really cool McDonald's menu. You have a burger, a cheese sandwich, you have a salad, which I'm pretty sure they do at McDonald's, and you even have a pizza. Did you guys know that McDonald's used to do pizzas on their menus? Oh, well, Louis, the only time I've ever had pizza inside of a McDonald's is when I went to Papa John's across the street and then brought it to McDonald's. Oh, wait, what? Why would you bring a pizza from another place into your McDonald's? Oh, so I could tell all my friends that I had McDonald's pizza. That's actually a really good idea, Pip. You must be popular with your friends. Yep, Louie. So I was thinking we sell Papa John's pizza on our menu. Well, I guess that works too. All right, Pip, that seems pretty good for our McDonald's and our hospital. But what should we build in these two areas? Well, Louie, we have a hose up there, but where is the water hose going to get water from? We haven't made a tank yet. Oh, that's actually a good point, Pip. We have absolutely no space to hold water. What? Maybe we can use this space right here. Let's make a wall over here and let's connect it up to this wall at the back. This will be enough room to hold a ton of water, I think. So watch this, Pip. I'm going to make a water tank and we can put a ton of water in. We need to make this thing absolutely huge. I think this shape should do. What do you think? How much water are we putting in here? We need a lot of water, Pip. Trust me. So let's put a ton of water tanks in like this. Whoa! Oh, this is huge. I have an idea. Let's make it even bigger. Let me just get rid of these ones at the back and we should be able to make this thing absolutely insanely big. Let's make it like this tall. So let's build up this massive water tank all the way to the roof. Let's also build another one right here. Maybe we should make it just closer to the wall like this. And let's build this one up to the roof. Whoa! Oh, Louie, but the tanks are empty. How do we get water inside? Don't worry, Pip. I could do this. I have a water bucket. Granted, this might take a while. Look how little water I'm putting in this thing. Let me help you, Louie. Pip, you're spilling it. What are you doing? Oh, my bad. And boom! Look! Look at that! We filled them full of water! Wait, Louie, how did it just turn purple? Um, I casted a magic spell on it! Instantus Purpaleus! And now it's purple. Wait, what? I didn't know you knew how to use magic, Louie! Oh, no, I, I don't, but I know how to use a spray canister. Wait, did you spray the water as well? Uh, that might kill Mikey and JJ! Well, it definitely kills fish when you spray it into the ocean. Uh, you know what? Let's just not think about that. What should we build next? Oh, uh, well, Louie, we need to build our armory. Wait, that's a good point. What is the point of being a firefighter if you can't protect yourself from the fire? All right, that's a good idea, Pip. Let's get started on this room then. I'll make this wall flat. And I'll also bring it up on this side, too. How about let's put down some armor stands and let's put some crazy firefighting gear on it. All right, Louie. What kind of armor should we put first? Well, Pip, first of all, our armor needs to be able to protect us from fire. So do you have any ideas what we could put there? I mean, we could use netherite armor, but that's not too strong against fire. Louie, why don't we just use this? <laughs> Wait a second. Is that a Batman mask? Where did you get that from? Oh, just nowhere. Wait, whoa, Pip, why did your voice just go so deep? Uh, I don't know. Uh, did something happen? Uh, I don't know. You kind of freaked me out there. Oh, uh, well, I, I didn't mean to, Louie. I was just saying nowhere. JJ and Mike, you're going to die. Wait, what? Pip, why did you say that? Say what, Louie? I'm just standing here. I don't know. Why did you... You put that mask on, and then your voice went really deep deep and you got really scary. Oh, Louie, how could my voice be deep? I'm a duck. Well, I guess you are just Pip after all. No, I'm Pip-Man. Wait, what? You're Pip-Man? No, Louie, my name is Pip. 
Pip. Wait, didn't you say Pip Man was the one that told you that JJ and Mikey should go to the burning building? Well, yeah, that old man told them to go on the burning building. Pip, you know you should never trust what a stranger says unless you know they're telling the truth. I mean, no one else was helping the old man. It was like they didn't even exist to them. Um, Pip, are you sure you weren't seeing things? Did you eat too many seeds? No, Louie, that old man told me to get JJ and Mikey to the diamonds. Well, I guess you did at the end of the day, but now they're stuck in a burning building. You know what, Pip? I haven't checked the time. I think we only have like five minutes left to save them. Oh, it does look like it's starting to get later. Yeah, we need to work on this armor right now and get that Batman mask out of here. That's scary. Oh, I didn't put that there. Yeah, sure you didn't, Pip. I literally watched you put it there. But anyways, that defeats the point. Let's put our armor on this armor stand. And I think I know exactly what is a good idea. I'm going to get this Power Ranger armor. And it looks just like the gear that a firefighter would wear. Yeah, Louie, I'm thinking the same thing. Yep, we've got these helmets on. We even have the buckle that the firefighters wear. But anyways, Pip, now we have this Power Ranger armor. What else do we do? I mean, we need some items to be able to get up there in the first place. Well, don't firefighters carry a ladder and lots of water? Yes, of course they do, Pip. Wait, that's actually a good point. Let's get some chests. And let's put a ton of water on your side and a ton of ladders on my side. Let me just go into my creative menu, grab some ladders and fill up this chest absolutely full of them. Then all I've got to do is just place all these back. And now they're full of ladders. Let's do the same thing on your side too, Pip. Let's get a bunch of water buckets and fill this thing up. Then let's just place these on top of each other. And as you can see, we have tons of water in here. But did you know you could get a splash potion of water in Minecraft, Pip? So that means you could throw water on the fire. That's so cool, Louie. Let's do that. All right. I'll make these chests a lot bigger. I'll make them go all the way up to the roof. Look how much water we have. All right, Louie. This is looking awesome with all of this water. But wait, Louie. We forgot the drive. Driver's seat! Wait, how did we possibly forget the driver's seat? You know what, Pip? Let's get building this thing right now. Let's go ahead and make a big platform right next to the window on the front so we can see everything outside. Oh, that building's getting really bad. I know. It seems like Mikey and JJ are almost on fire. We need a steering wheel right now. I have a good idea on how we're going to make it. I'm going to get a red valve handle and a yellow valve handle. Now look at this, Pip. You have a steering wheel, and I have a steering wheel. We can now steer this separately. All right, Louie, let's build the control panel now. All right, good idea, Pip. How about this? Let's use these stripped oak logs to make this look a little bit better, just like this. And now let's get some pressure plates and also some buttons we can press. So let's put them down just like this and have a button in the middle. Now we can press this one to activate the water and these little pressure plates should just activate things like the radio. Oh, I love listening to the radio when fighting fires. Yep, me too. It always makes me feel like a Chad. But look at this, Pip. I'm going to add some of these really cool chairs that we can sit on. And look, they have little gears on the back. Oh, that's awesome, Louie. But wait, how are we supposed to get up here? Oh, that's actually a good point. If we can't get up here, how do we drive the truck? You know what? Let's go ahead and build a staircase going all the way up to the top. I'll just make these little poles so that it doesn't look like the platform is just floating. There we go. Let's add some stairs to this thing now. So let's go ahead and build this out of quartz stairs. Woohoo! This might take a while though because look how high up we are. This might actually take up the rest of our time to save Mikey and JJ. Yeah, so we gotta be fast, Louie. Go, go, go! Boom, 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 boom. Place those quartz stairs like a legend, Pip. You place the ones down like that, and I'll place the ones on the back. This way, we can build the staircase as fast as possible. Oh, I'm building them as fast. 
Max as a Louis legend. Yep, and you guys can be a Louis legend too if you subscribe to the channel right now. But anyways, Pip, there we go. We've gone ahead and built a really nice and big staircase going all the way up to the driver's seat. That looks really cool. But now, Pip, I honestly think we might have run out of time to build. <gasps> we have to go ahead and save Mikey and JJ. Oh, you're right, Louie. Let's get to them. All right. So first of all, we need to drive this fire truck just a little bit closer. So how about this? You get on your wheel and I'll get on mine. Let's get controlling this thing. All right, Pip. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop! All right, I think we are close enough. Look, we just drove kind of close to the building, and now Mikey and JJ are really close. Don't worry, guys, we're here to save you! Oh, if only we could put a ladder right here so JJ and Mikey could walk right in! I know, that would be really, really useful. We might actually have to get the ladders and go into the burning building to save them! All right, Louie, but if that's what it takes... Let's go. Let's do this, Pip. Come on, down the staircase. And let's go get our firefighting gear on. Let's go ahead and put on our Power Ranger armor. Look how cool I look. Look at this, Pip. You look super cool. And so do I. We are like firefighting legends. Yeah, Louie, I look so muscular. But we need to get that water and the ladders right now. All right, Pip, I'll be in charge of the ladders. You can be in charge of some of the water. I'll get some, too. All right, Louie, I'm getting all of the water. I'm also going to get some splash potions of water, too, so that I can throw some on fires just in case we need to. All right, let's get to that burning building. All right, Pip, come on. Out of the back of the building we go. All right, we jumped down the ladders. Let's get into that burning building and save Mikey and JJ once and for all. We're coming to save you, Mikey. Mikey and JJ! Whoa, that building is huge. Uh, I'm kind of scared of heights, Pip. Are you? Yeah, Louie, but the old man said there's diamonds up there, so we should be fine. All right, I guess we should go and get those diamonds and Mikey and JJ. Come on, let's put some of these fires out. Let's go ahead and put some out on the front, and I'll throw some water on the ones on the front, too. Boom! Get out of here, water! Oh, I'm starting to climb up, Louie, and I'm putting out the fire! Good Good job, Pip. Let me get up to the second floor with you. We need to make sure this building does not collapse. So the more fires we put out, the better. Let's make sure to get the ones on the side of the building, too. After all, if this building collapses because of the fire, JJ and Mikey will go down with it. And so will we. We are putting ourselves in grave danger. Oh, yeah, Louie. But come on, we need to make it to the next floor. All right, go ahead, Pip. Put the water down and let's get up there. I'll put a ladder here so we can climb up. And wait, look, Mikey and JJ are on the floor just above us. We need to put out these fires and get to them now. I'm putting them out as fast as I can, Louie. Oh, come on, Mikey, I need to save you. And wait, what? There's TNT. Wait, Pip, what just happened? I was just down on the bottom floor. It sounded like an explosion. Maybe that old man is trying to stop us from getting those diamonds. Oh, I really hope not. That would be terrible. And wait, it seems like this whole building is coming down. We have to save Mikey and JJ right now. Come on, they're right there. Let's save them. All right, come on, Pip. We gotta get up there. All right, let's swim up here and... Uh, Oh, wait a second. Who is that? It is I, Pipman. Oh, no. Oh, Pipman, what are you doing here? Are you the one who told Pip that Mikey and JJ had to go up this building? Ha, ha, ha. Maybe. Oh, well, I'm going to save Mikey and JJ whether you like it or not. No, you aren't. I'm going to kill Mikey and JJ. No, you're not. Who's going to stop me? Ha, ha, ha! Let me just sneak up behind him and push him off! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Look! He died! Perfect! Oh, Louie, what was that noise? Oh my gosh, Pip, you won't believe it! I just defeated Pip Man, and he looks very much like you, just with a Batman costume on and a gun. Wait, you defeated Pip? Pipman once and for all? I sure hope so. It looked like he died. All right. Uh, 
Perfect. Well, let's go ahead and save Mikey and JJ. All right. Let's get some of this water and let's put it right next to their feet right here. We are going to have to take the quick way down this building. I'm sorry, JJ. Oh, go, JJ. Get down there. I'm coming with you. Hiya! And whoa! Look, JJ got down the building and so did Mikey. Come on, Pip. Let's get them away from this burning building. Yeah, we gotta bring them to safety. Come on, Pip. Let's get out of here. Wait, what was that noise? Whoa! The building! It's coming down! How is it exploding? I don't know, Pip, but I'm really glad we got out of there in time. Mikey and JJ would have died! All right, let me just see this building. It doesn't seem like it's going to explode, and... Whoa! Never mind! Never mind, I lied! Oh, no. The whole building just exploded! Oh, well, you know what, Louie? At least Mikey and JJ are all right, and our fire truck looks all right, too. Yeah, that's actually a good point. We could totally drive out of here. We just saved Mikey and JJ from a burning building. Oh, yeah, using our fire trucks. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's, Let's go! go! Anyways, we playing some arcade games after this. Super Duck Bros!